if there was one piece of advice that you could give couples that they could do after their nand garaj what what would that be by sab think that you're wrong in the person's life and that's the most hardest thing to do especially if you're very very knowledgeable and uh, very experienced you think only i'm right that's too wrong right it's just think sometimes you could be wrong and 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 think well i might be right but i'm going to give the other person the benefit of the doubt and saying you're right and and it might make the person happy that says just thinking about it, i think at least this person is willing to uh give me a chance of being right even though i might be wrong and that way uh you're showing a bit of humility if you're genuine uh, and you give them the person a chance to find that place if you sort of dictate and say you're back and wait got that right but i was saying has to happen but sooner or later you're going to find that the other person is feeling trampled or tied down and with their education and with their sort of uh, way of life they might feel that they're in a prison rather than in a marriage so it's up to the couple really to work it out and share their uh, likings and share their views as often as they can i mean i got away with it i did that even on stage because at the times are different then but you can't get away now you have to share your duties in in, in life in terms of housework children looking at and, and a lot of us do uh, you know uh, credit to them those that don't they need to start sharing their duties because uh the old times are gone unless unless they got a very uh, very nice family setup where the mother and the, the daughter in law get on very well like a father and daughter then there's no problem but that's very rare nowadays very rare so that's yeah, my sometimes advice. sometimes just by saying sorry it can just change the whole dynamic of a conversation and it uh, sorry, things become a lot sorry is a very powerful word it can be misused yeah. and say you keep saying sorry all the time then it become mm. uh, uh totally uh unreliable but set the right time set the right time just that word can take the heat out of the other one but if I you think keep that sorry all the time then you'll just have no value because then you sort of get in the air and or you say oh say sorry to me but you never really mean it but so you got to you got to be careful that mm. uh, you start your ground when you think you're right but you also think am i overdoing it and then sort of come back and not and say look hold on uh this my marriage is more important than me making him or or her realize i am right right it's probably worth me saying okay i'm half wrong not totally wrong you're half right and leave this on ground also by said the thing is like just speaking from personal um you know from a personal touch there is that when we're getting when our anand karaj is happening generally we look at all these likes and dislikes and we turn around and we have hobbies and those kind of things but it's also important to find some kind of common ground after your anand karaj as well we tend to turn around and have that before our anand karaj where you know i am i do this i do that she does this she does that but it's turning around and obviously one of the most important uh parts of ours is you know our daily routine what whether you know our nickname is one thing that we all have you know in personal common but also your personal things as well um you know you need to sort of give way there as well and and try and accept what your partner likes um and 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 try and turn around and and meet some kind of common ground there so that you are turning around and sharing experiences outside of your sikhi life but you know also in in your personal life in terms of maybe some hobby or you know reading or watching tv certain tv or however it is and i think that's something where you'll find nowadays that you'll find especially in a lot of gorset couples that their sikhi side things are very very strong but then the other stuff is very it is not taking any prominence and issues start happening it, that, that's the dust the dust the body with the uh couples find it or some people find it difficult to compromise on that aspect of saying okay uh but tell is not going to have uh news or some program whatever we share that sort of uh, life with us uh, if you totally sort of abandon that side and say look I don't want to do that you can do what you like I just want to do my thing you're really drifting apart 
You got to do something shared. You got to do something together. Even if it's just talking, right? Even if it's just sharing views. You got to do something together. You can't just be two separate bodies sitting sitting separately. Guru says, if you're sitting together and talking, you're, you're not a marriage couple unless you are one in your. So you're definitely not a marriage couple. You're sitting together separately, totally, unless you're uh, old age, and then obviously you're, <laughs> you're setting your ways and you, you want to do something different. They want to do something different. Then that's that's totally a, a not not a situation to worry about because. They've, they've had that sort of uh, life. When you're young, you need to sort of share things. Obviously, you know, if you have children, that they'll demand more attention and more participation from home. Otherwise, you'll be too much for one person to work and you have the children. That's I think that's the massive issue with um, couples these days where people are more interested in their own needs and their own wants rather than seeing it as we're actually one unit and we need to work as one unit and that can lead to issues such as extreme circumstances divorce almost and you know how how can people overcome these general issues and stop making it into such a massive issue where people then just default to separation and then sometimes divorce but i think you're so right there because the the biggest issue that we've seen in the last you know, half a decade or so, is that couples are not talking. And that's where, why said where with you, you've come out with, you know, sort of the hit the gold mine there, is that if we don't talk, we will not resolve. And that talking might just be about something we're watching on television or a sport that we're playing or a hobby that we're interested in, but there's a sense of talk happening there. And without that talking, we cannot move forward. That's right. That's definitely, uh, you got to you got to communication. Without communication, you don't know what the other person is thinking. And if you ignore what the other person is thinking, sooner or later, you're going to drift apart. Uh, now, just a, a note on this: successful marriages are not just confined to six. Uh, you probably see cases in in this country where uh, English couples have been married for seventy odd years or even longer. And they've never quarreled once. I've seen cases that they've said on TV. We never quarreled once. And when one person dies, the other one, the other person dies very quickly because they can't stand the separation of the other person. It means they had a deep connection. So the soul will find its way of connecting. But Guruji has given us a, a way of uh, increasing that connection by connecting to Gurbani. But don't just make that a one sided thing. If you're connected to Gurbani, then make sure you understand the other person's needs. Even if they are not that connected, they are you it's still your responsibility to help them in their normal needs, not just the Gurbani needs. A lot of what actually happens in some people that they become so focused on their Sikhi that they forget there's another person in their life or persons in their children. And that can be also challenging in the long run, especially these days. In the old days, they got away with it. Because ladies were programmed different and they accepted that sort of lifestyle and they just got on with their, their sort of uh, lot. Nowadays, that's going to be different. So, Paisab, thank you so much. Um, I think um, just having these questions was was brilliant. Um, so, thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll still be alive when we've uh, had 48 years of marriage um, <laughs> past. It might be, you know, we might be with a couple of walking sticks and stuff, but let's oh, see. You never know, you uh, never know. Thanks, thanks you know. to, both of, to both of you for uh, uh, letting me uh, say my few words. Hope it helps somebody uh, along the way in this uh, very, very difficult journey of uh, life uh, and spirituality. May God be blessed all of both of you and all, 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 all who watch these videos. Uh, please forgive me uh, where I'm wrong or I made a mistake and uh, pray for me as well that I uh, achieve my goal of uh, the Lama. Why Thank you so much. Why good you got Why good you got